So as soon as lockdown restrictions were relaxed in England and Wales, and overnight trips were allowed again, the first thing I wanted to do was get out there into nature and enjoy some wilderness. I've never ridden a mountain bike before, but I felt it was the best way of experiencing the stunning landscape and mountains that Wales has to offer. Following the Brecon Bash, a route from bikepacking.com, myself and friend Finn started in Merthyr Tydfil before heading into the Brecon Beacons National Park, passing through the Gap, Brecon and Langorse Lake. From here, the route went into the Black Mountains before finishing in Abergavenny. After a short ride on the Taft Trail, we soon reached the edge of the National Park and straight away was blown away by the landscape and of course the steep hills. Words can't describe the feeling of being able to ride through such a beautiful area and carry everything we needed for the weekend after being cooped up for months. Following a gravel descent, we began climbing again, including some extremely steep walking sections up to the iconic Gap Pass. Nestled between the Cribbon and Fanny Big Peaks, the views down the valley below were breathtaking. Not a bad place to stop to refuel and have a quick nap. After fixing our first puncture of the trip, we made our way down the steep and rocky descent off the mountain. few miles were relatively flat, following some streams full of fresh mountain water. As soon as the sun began to lower it in the sky and the bodies began to tire after what was our first full day on the bikes in months, we set up camp overlooking Langorse Lake. We had everything we needed, shelter, food, great company, a beautiful sunset and even a drink from a friendly Welsh local. The night was pretty chilly especially for Finn in his bivvy bag. So we quickly packed up, wiped the frost off our luggage and our bikes, and set off on our second day of the adventure. The beauty and the grace Nothing we would change at all A feeling that is deeper than the ocean Raging to the sound Whisper of the wind Calling us to something more What if we set out upon the waters Sail till we lose sight of shore After riding off the hill we slept on Down a steep, craggy descent Where I definitely didn't fall off twice it was straight up the next hill. Just from the first two hills, we knew today would be a tough one.
Climbing up Edas was one of the hardest climbs of the entire trip, with a long, relentless push up the steep, rough, gravel and rocky path. The views that welcomed us at the top made it all worth it, and even after fixing our third puncture of the trip, we still had smiles on our faces. A long descent, passing the Grenfell Reservoir followed, leaving only a few more hills on the route left. I had only ridden a mountain bike a couple of times before this trip, and never anything this challenging with bikepacking bags. Coming from road riding, it felt like every rock I pedalled over would knock me off my bike or give me a puncture. This took a while to get used to, but after two days thrown in at the deep end, while I'm still no mountain bike expert, I feel a little more confident on these trails. Knackered, hungry and dehydrated, we finished off the ride in Abgaveni by eating an ice cream sat on the floor outside Tesco, feeling surreal returning to civilization, social distancing and face coverings. Even though it had only been two days long, we truly made the most of the weekend, feeling like a whole lifetime since we set off the day before. After months and months of being restricted on movement and not being allowed to go out on overnight trips, this weekend adventure felt absolutely amazing. Just being able to get out there into the wilderness and ride some awesome trails and we were really lucky with the sunny weather as well. I hope you enjoyed watching this video as much as we enjoyed riding the trails and going on the weekend adventure. And make sure you hit the subscribe button down below because I've got some exciting new adventures and videos that I'll be sharing with you in the next couple of weeks and months.